Let's talk about a push kick, okay? The push kick is not used for damage, obviously. It's not even used for points. Uh, much like in Muay Thai, okay? Obviously in Muay Thai, a little more devastating, right? You can push right to the face, uh, knock people out possibly. Uh, but in Taekwondo, the push kick is more of a setup kick or more of a distance finder. It's not a finishing kick, but you can use it to keep people's distance either away from you or push them back, okay? So here's what the push kick mechanics will look like, okay? It's not like uh, Muay Thai where, you know, you're kind of pushing it like that or you're kind of pushing it like that. I mean, yes, you would do that, but in Taekwondo, you kind of want to be more mobile, okay? So the push kick will look more like this. Okay, watch my uh, weight distribution again. Okay, I actually want to keep my head. Um, I want. I don't actually want to bounce my head up high like that. That's actually not good. So I want to keep my head straight like that when I shuffle in and push it. Okay. So watch my weight. My weight stays right here. It's just my feet that move. So what I'm doing is I'm distributing the weight front, but I keep my weight back. So if I don't hit him, let's say he's gone, I can come back, right? I don't, I don't, I don't just land like this and then get, get countered, okay? I don't want that. So, push kick, okay? So, boom, okay? But we really want to push it. Push kick like that. And obviously there's other styles of push kicks like boom, okay? Or maybe side kick like this, okay? But really in a Taekwondo way, that's the kind of push kick that I want. Now, if you're wondering, why would I even use that? Why would I want a push kick? Well, there's setups for that push kick, okay? So, if I fake the push kick, I can come out for a roundhouse. Or if I actually push him back, I can go in with the roundhouse kick, okay? Push kick like this, I can come in with another roundhouse kick. So, it's a setup kick and a distance finder, range finder. 